This right here might be the most underrated lens of 2022. I was gonna say 2021, but it's, it's 2022. I got a haircut. Show us, buddy. Show us, show us, show us. Move around, move around. <laughs> oh, look at you, baby girl. Oh, you look so cute. High five. Yeah! The office is a complete mess right now. This lens right here is a Sony 10 to 18 millimeter F4 with optical stabilization. Now, the thing most people don't know about this is that it's an APS-C lens, which means it's a little bit cheaper, but it actually fits on a full frame camera. Let me show you guys. There, there we go. We have it on a full frame A7S 3 and watch this, we're now at 10 millimeters and yes, you are getting some of this. Look how I'm like, I'm a foot away from the camera and you're getting, <laughs> This is insanely wide. Yes, you are getting some of this vignetting and now I am also on the active stabilization which crops in just a little bit on the Sony a7s. This is, this is wild. But if you just go to like, what are we at now? We're at, we're at 12 now. Now, especially with that active stabilization crop, there's like no, there, maybe there's a little bit of vignetting still, but there's no barrel or any of that stuff that you would normally get if you put an APS-C lens on a full frame sensor, you'd get this like crazy black barrel. You're not getting any of that. <laughs> Look how wide this is, this is nuts. I'm literally like, I am, I am like three inches from the camera right now and I'm still able to <laughs> So basically this is a 12 to 18 mil lens for a full frame camera. That's crazy wide. That's really hard to find for a full frame camera. And the best part is it's quite cheap. It's only $900 compared to, for example, this lens. It's, it's half of this, less than half. This thing is over $2,000 and this, it's 900 and this is wider and it has lens stabilization built in so it should be extra stable. Are we getting wobbles by the way? That's a, that would be an interesting see. We will do more tests. And one of the best things is that it's very small. It's, it's like, here's my 16 to 35 and there's the 10 to 18. Well, look at this, probably about half the size I would say, maybe even smaller. What does this all mean? Well, I believe this is the best YouTube vlogging lens ever made for a Sony. Most people just don't know about it, especially because they think it's, oh, it's a crop sensor lens, can't use it on a full frame, but you just zoom it in a little bit and you're good to go. Now, of course, there's always gonna be some downsides. The downsides would be that in this case, it's only an F4 lens. So if you want that really nice shallow depth of field, well, first of all, it's also crazy wide, so you're probably not gonna get much of that. It's not gonna help that it's not an F2.8, like this bad boy right here. And you're not gonna get as good low light capability, but Sony's don't really struggle with the low light. So I think we're good there. The biggest issue I think would be that it is only a 12 to 18 mil. So if you want, you know, cinematic cinematic 35 mil shots, nah. -uh. If you want 24, cinematic 24 shots, nope. Uh, so this really is for like a specific type of filmmaking, shooting, and uh, that would definitely be vlogging. I, I'm just, the, the, the package here could be so small. Hold on, let me show you guys. Take that off the Joby. You definitely don't need an extension arm. Look how small this, uh, this is the Sony lens, which I've been playing around with again. And then this lens, this is a very compact vlogging setup. Like you could easily take this anywhere and nobody would ever be like, wow, you're, you're really going all out with that camera gear, which I get all the time. Like, wow, it's a big camera setup. And, and like, this is, Tiny. This would be like the perfect airport vlogger setup. So um, yeah, very curious to test this out more. I've only tried it a tiny bit in the, in the past. So uh, let's do full test and I'll let you know 
well, first of all, you guys can see what it's like, but also I'll let you know how it was shooting with the 10 to 18 mil, the most underrated, possibly the most underrated lens on the market. First, we gotta, we gotta do something about this mess. They did a freaking coat rack in the middle of the room. How'd you guys like the color grading, how to color grade video? It's just chaos. All right, let's clean up. All right, we're also selling some stuff. Uh, I'm selling my Canon EF7200. This is the Mark II. It's in good condition, nothing wrong with it. If you're interested, uh, only Canadian, or only basically people around Toronto. I don't ship things, I don't do none of that, and cash only. Got the Z-Cam E2 F6. This is the full frame 6K version. Uh, if anybody's interested in that. Is the autofocus on? It is on, right? Pro tip, uh, if you wanna do time lapses really easily on the Sony, what you do is you do the S and Q, but then you put it to one frames per second, and then just put the shutter speed real slow and you get really quick time lapses, easy time lapses like those um, without having to do any like time lapse modes. Uh, Learn that from one of the one of the greats on YouTube, Peter Lindgren. Uh, good job, Beppo and Peter, uh, on the Sony settings video. That was great. Um, also selling 2017 15 inch MacBook. I believe it's fully spec, but I'll, I'll just. It is a 3.1 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM and two terabytes of storage. So if anybody's interested in a MacBook, email this email for any of these things. And then we have this guy, which is, it's a little bit bittersweet uh, letting go of this guy, but I think, I think it needs a better home. I haven't really used it for a little bit. It is the C300 Mark II. Uh, the reason why this is a little bit bittersweet is that uh, this is really, I feel like this really like kind of, my career was really taking off and this was one of the first big, big investments I made into my career. I remember opening this up from the box and be like, holy crap. I have a cinema camera. And it was literally worth twice what my car was worth at the time, which felt absolutely crazy. But at the same time, uh, I knew I could use it on my shoots and hopefully make some money back <laughs> with my skills. So it's, uh, it's definitely bittersweet letting this one go. It's in great condition, no issues. Uh, got a bunch of batteries. I think we have like four batteries or something like that and everything everything that came with it plus this Pelican. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in getting a C300 Mark II, uh, treat, treat it well. Let me introduce you guys to somebody. I don't know if, I don't know if I've fully introduced Naomi. Hello. This is Naomi. She's like, what, what do we, what do we call you? You're like a, an intern? Intern. Assistant. PA. Running around, <laughs> doing everything, everything. everything. Yeah, basically. All the chaos around here. Uh, you guys might have seen her in a previous video, and uh, now she's helping out, which is great. This is not my desk, though. Uh, it's it's not. temporary. It's kind of everybody's desk. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit uh, chaotic in here right now. Curious, does anybody does it feel too wide? Is, is there such a thing as too wide? <laughs> I'm kind of getting used to it. Uh, I mean, you could go, you know. 18 and it feels pretty pretty normal but 12 is like definitely not used to 12 10 12 12 is pretty intense anyways uh quick updates uh i haven't really talked about the big big company that we're working on just because it's been kind of boring updates and things always take way longer than you expect but we are still definitely working on something pretty big to help aspiring new content creators and people that have been doing this for a while from what i've realized and learned over the years of doing youtube there's a lot of really successful people on youtube that still aren't getting everything that they could from their channels and i feel like we've developed a pretty cool system to help people um, with this and uh yeah it's hopefully going to be open for beta soon in the next month Maybe uh, we're gonna put out a little questionnaire too to get a little bit more information from you guys so that we can help you even better. Uh, yeah, hope that suffices as an update. <laughs> Hopefully more to more to tell soon.
I'm curious, how many are always surprised when I turn the camera and there's this giant, like, like, when I'm just here, I'm just chilling, and then meanwhile, there's this... Look at that distortion. That is some, that is some serious distortion right there. It's not as bad there. That's handsome. One of the things that I haven't done for a while, which I really miss, is FPV. Uh, maybe for good reason, it's been like minus 20, minus 25, and today it's a mild day of minus three. It's pretty warm. I charge everything out of this box. It's a bit of a mess, but I highly recommend that. Especially if you hate the sound of a Canon charger. This is my usual practice spot. First, we gotta eat some Doritos. Why? No idea, I'm just hungry. Wish me luck. keep flying but my hands are frozen when this must be warmer still very cold beautiful sunset though okay back home daddy's home do you want to see something that I'm what 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 show me baby girl it's Halloween candy what Halloween candy oh boy Kai what happened in here this is a mess. There's asteroid crash. Oh, well, happy Halloween, everybody. Yep. <laughs> and happy Christmas. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Look at that goodness right there. Hey, YouTubers! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy! Overall, I would say this lens is really nice to <laughs> use. I was actually surprised at how much of a difference you feel in the weight of it. I, I could actually use a smaller Joby Gorilla Pod too, so my whole setup could be way lighter with this lens. And I don't know, it has a really cool uh, vlog style look to it. I feel like this would have been like the perfect lens for like a KC Neistat uh, back in his age. <laughs> Give us your best punch. One downside is definitely this zoom range. So like that's where you would start using it and it only goes to that. So there's not much of a zoom range, but with 4K nowadays, you can just you can just zoom in, right? So if you wanna go closer, just zoom in digitally. That works. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a double thumbs up. <laughs> yeah! Kyle, you gonna clean your room? <laughs> 